Welcome back, everyone, to Cooking with Cousin Ant. This is Cousin Ant, and today, uh, just a quick little check-in video. Um, since I know I haven't posted an actual cooking video in a while, um, this is actually just, I uh, guess you can call it a grocery haul. I went to Trader Joe's, picked some. So, I mentioned Trader Joe's. Obviously, I did go to Trader Joe's. You see some Trader Joe's products in here. However, the Mission Tortilla shells that you'll see, um, I got those from, I believe, Walmart or Kroger, one of those stores. And um, the Atkins candies, I got those from Walmart. So not everything in here is a Trader Joe's product. Uh, I just wanted to clarify that. Um, I have like flexibility with my diet. I am just trying to make better choices nowadays. So starting from the back, we have this uh, ginger beer. Um, I got the zero sugar just because I know that sugar, you know, obviously is not something you want in huge quantities. So that's why I got the zero sugar ginger beer. Next to it, we have some milk. Only reason I got the milk was because I was actually considering making Alfredo, but then I changed my mind. But when I do make eggs, which you see there, um, I actually um, do like put a little milk in it before I whisk it up with the like black pepper and season and salt. Here we have some canola oil nonstick cooking spray. The reason I got it is because it is zero calories. Um, I'm definitely trying to be mindful of like the oils and things of that nature that I consume. So I figure when I make something like, let's say a quesadilla or something like that, I'll use that nonstick cooking spray instead of like oil or butter. Here's what I saw at Trader Joe's and I picked it up. It's this cheesy seasoning blend. Um, I actually have bought some like bag popcorn. So I'm gonna throw this on top of it. I know it says it adds cheesiness to vegetables and pasta as well, but I'll start off with the popcorn. Um, up top, these are something that I picked up. Uh, I'm a sweets person trying to change that, so I feel this is a good middle ground in the interim. Um, these are really, really good to me, so I picked them up. Here we have some of the Trader Joe's Salsa Verde. Um, I've had it a few times. I like it. It's not too spicy because I'm not a fan of spicy foods, but... Um, the reason why I got that is because I'm making quesadillas. So wrapped up in here is some um, thin sliced chicken breasts. And I have some apples here. The apples aren't going in the quesadilla, but the reason why I got the apples is because I have this Greek yogurt. And I'm going to make like a, um, a dip that I can dip the apples in. I'm thinking of using like Greek yogurt, cinnamon, um, and maybe a little bit of honey um, just to give that apple some sort of, you know, texture. Um, and creaminess so that's why I got the not bad Greek yogurt and apart from the apple you know the dip that I want to use for the apples I actually also have some strawberries here which um, I'm going to like probably mix in the Greek yogurt here are some yellow corn tortillas I got the extra thin ones um, I love yellow corn tortillas so I got those because initially I planned on making carne asada tacos but uh, I changed my mind and wanted to do like a fajita style chicken quesadilla. Um, you don't see the bell peppers and onions picture, but I had got a green, red, and orange bell pepper, as well as a sweet yellow onion. So that is what's gonna go in my fajita. And I also got some avocado. I may make guacamole or just slice it up. Um, here is that, you know, <laughs> yellow onion. That's a substantial size. Uh, sour cream. I feel like you can't have tacos, enchiladas, or a quesadilla without sour cream so i had to get it i have my eggs in the background a uh, reason that i got the eggs i may make like tuna salad or do something with those um or maybe make like some copycat starbucks uh like those egg bites with the bacon i love this bacon uh you cannot tell me i'm not a fan of it uh, i love the flavor i love the texture and the thickness of it so i had to get that um have some bananas up here just because i may make like oatmeal or I may throw it in this yogurt um, definitely trying to get those like fruits and veggies in by any means now these <laughs> uh, if you know me you know I love any type of Caribbean food um, especially beef fatties I've been seeing these on like TikTok and Instagram so I figured I would give them a try I saw them I snagged I conquered a box so um, I see here it has a turmeric infused pastry envelope so that sounds like that'll be good um, but I'm definitely going to just keep these on reserve and last but not least these last two items I have some rice cauliflower because later in the week I plan on making like a salmon bowl so I had got some extra avocado so essentially the salmon bowl will be this rice cauliflower 
um, like a spicy mayo, the salmon, and I have some broccoli. Um, unless I decide to make like uh, jasmine rice or regular white rice with the salmon bowl, I plan on using the cauliflower. Just trying to be more mindful. And that's not to say, oh, I don't eat white rice or I don't eat this or I don't eat that. Uh, I kind of eat what I want in moderation. So um, I feel there's nothing wrong with like trying new things and trying to, I guess, you know, make healthy substitutes with things. And last but not least is buffalo chicken dip. And had I been thinking, um, I would have like gotten some more flour tortillas because I feel this would be really good in a quesadilla. But I plan on eating it with crackers. And if I had cucumbers, I would probably eat it with a cucumber or cucumber slices, excuse me, but I don't. So I'm gonna see how this tastes because it seems really good. Uh, white chicken meat with cream cheese, sour cream, cayenne pepper sauce, shredded and shredded Monterey Jack. So it says you can eat it either hot or cold, I'm assuming. Yeah, I think you can eat it hot or cold. Um, I'm not sure how I would like it hot. So I think first off, I'll try it cold. And if I want to take that leap, uh, I will heat it up. But um, yeah, this is my weekly grocery haul. So um, thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified of the next video upload. Um, and tell me about your grocery shopping experiences. Um, how do you go about buying groceries? What are your favorite fruits? Please leave that down in the comments. Um, I would love to, you know, converse with you all. Um, and I will see you on the next video upload. Thank you.